everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you our back patio makeover. Welcome back to my channel again today. It's a very exciting day because I get to finally reveal to you our back patio makeover. If you follow along on my blog, the DIYMommy.com, you may have already seen this, but I waited till today to share it with you, my friends, here on YouTube. And I styled it a little bit differently than how I styled it on my blog. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you a dusk tour and kind of a more black and white monochromatic version of this back patio. This project has been on our to-do list for a really long time, ever since we moved in three years ago, four years ago now to our house. And finally, we were able to do it this spring. We used some reclaimed patio stones and some inexpensive pea gravel to make our patio. I will share that with you and I'm also going to share with you how I styled it with some furniture from my friends at The Brick. Let's get started. Here's how our back patio looked early this spring. This is our walkout basement at the back of our house and it was just mud and dead grass and dirt and it was just driving as a bonker. So this year we decided to do something about it. So first of all, Hubby took the bobcat and made the area nice and straight and smooth and laid down about four to five inches of road crush. On top of that, he put about two inches of sand and then he leveled the whole thing with a giant rake. So leveling is a really important part of this process. Next, he laid down some reclaimed patio stones that we reclaimed and recovered from one of his work sites. So they cost us zero dollars and we left a couple inches between each square. And then finally, we filled in the space in between the squares with some beautiful rainbow pea gravel. I added the Creston patio set from the brick to this area and I love it because it has this really nice pillow storage box and it also functions as a dining set as well as a lounging set because it has a table height table. And I really love these ottoman that can be useful for sitting on or for putting your feet on. And then I got this giant umbrella from the brick which I think gives our patio this really pretty modern French country vibe. So in going with this modern French country vibe, I'm adding some pillows that kind of have a French country feel along with some black and white stripes. And then I just chopped some branches off some of our poplar trees and put that in a vase for the table. I added some ambiance with this birch tree and some faux boxwood as well. And some more faux plants along with some real plants and some lanterns. I like to mix real and faux plants just because it's nice and easy to care for. Some more ambiance lighting with this really nice rustic string light. And you might remember this DIY bench I made over here. I added a lantern and some faux plants. A little fire pit over here for entertaining and then I just brought in my favorite bike I love this bike I love how it looks and I love to ride it too and it just kind of covers up some of the stuff back behind the couch you have to add lots of cozy things out on a porch especially for late summer nights like a throw and some candles for some more mood lighting and that is how we made and how I styled our back patio it was really inexpensive and I love this patio set from The Brick. I'll leave a link in the description box below. It makes our patio just so cozy and so wonderful for these late summer nights. We've definitely been able to entertain lots out here already and I just love how this space turned out on a budget. Thank you so much for coming along with me on our back patio tour. Let me know in the comments below which part was your favorite. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.